So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your videos from looking like this, pretty bright, not very aesthetic, to looking like this, nice and dark, high contrast, nice aesthetics, looks very aesthetically pleasing for Instagram and for TikTok by adding a very simple filter and a bit of text in the 100% free CapCut application from the App Store, okay? And it's very simple to do. I'll be walking you through step-by-step step how I would go applying my filter in the CapCut Cap Cut application and then adding in text and then exporting it in 4K so it's gonna upload in the highest quality and look the best it possibly can when you upload the video onto Instagram and onto TikTok. So without further ado, let's jump into my phone here. I'm gonna be showing you a little screen recording as I walk you through the process, turning a video from with no filter at all to a video that looks great, is high quality, has the text on there, and it's gonna do very well in terms of pleasing the Instagram algorithm, pleasing the TikTok algorithm, and getting you as many followers as possible. So let's jump into my phone. I'll show you exactly how to do this in the CapCut application. So we are in my phone here now, and I'm gonna open up CapCut here. And you can see I already have a video uploaded. I'm actually gonna restart, click new project, and I'm gonna click on this one up top here. There's absolutely no filter added to this. You can see it's pretty bright. Uh, it's not exactly looking 100% quite yet, okay? So the first thing you wanna do once your video is in there is scroll all the way to the right on the CapCut little thing here and click adjust, okay? And it's gonna bring up all of these different adjustments that you can make to your video in order to make it look a lot better. So what I'm first gonna start out with always, as I always do, is I'm going to scroll through and just make sure I'm on a clip that has pretty neutral colors. Let's try this one maybe. So let's go to the exposure here. Let's drop that down to maybe minus 10. For whatever reason, exposure doesn't do a whole lot in CapCut, so you do have to resort to brightness, which is on the left here. And I'm gonna drop that down. You're gonna see it's make, gonna make quite a big difference right away. Okay, I'm gonna drop that down to maybe minus 20, in between minus 15 and minus 20, so minus 17 is looking good to me. The next thing I'm gonna do is open up the saturation, and I'm gonna drop that down to minus 10. Okay, so it's not too saturated now. It's a little bit darker, it's looking a little bit better in my opinion. Let's go minus 12. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to highlights, which is gonna be found right here. And I'm gonna raise that about plus 12. Temperature, I'm gonna make sure it's not too warm. I always make sure it's a little bit colder. So minus five, minus six, minus seven area is what I'll usually do with that. And I'm gonna to go to the tab right here called HSL. So I know a lot of people don't use HSL. They're not sure what it is, what it does. It's actually very, very helpful when it comes to picking colors and making sure they don't show up on your Instagram reel. Like those, I don't know, for me, I don't like greens, purples, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna click HSL and I'm gonna select purple because a lot of the gyms that I personally work out in, there's lots of purple. It's kind of the, 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 the company's colors. So I usually get rid of them by clicking into HSL here and I'm gonna click purple and I'm gonna lower the saturation on the purple. Okay, minus 20, minus 30, it doesn't really matter. I don't want it in the video. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, blue. I usually get rid of blues as well. So I'm gonna lower that. You can see it in the back window there going down quite a bit. Um, and I can also click this and I can scroll through the video and see how these color adjustments are doing on the different areas. Okay, because there's obviously different colors in different clips. I did notice a clip with some green at the end here on the wall. So let's open up that clip right here. You can see there's green on there. So I'll click HSL and let's go like this and lower that saturation so you can see on the wall, it's gonna take that right out. It looks way better in my opinion. So let's take out the green. One color to note that I never adjust is orange because orange is the skin tone. And if I lower down the skin tones, the oranges, it's just gonna look weird. So unfortunately, if you have orange in the video and you're trying to take it out, it might be a little bit difficult to do. This clip right here, particular clip is looking a bit um, pink. So let me just drop the pink. So you can see on my neck there. Maybe make a little bit of a difference. Reds, there's probably a little bit too much red as well. So I'll drop that down, it's like minus 10. Be very light on the red because that's close to a skin tone as well. You wanna be careful. But overall, this is looking 100 times better already. Very aesthetic, darker, a lot more like the kind of example that I showed you at the beginning of this video. And even with this wall, I could probably drop the yellows down a little bit too. Finally make it a little bit better. Again, be careful with yellow because it is a skin tone. But overall, that is looking quite good. So what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna click this plus here. And now you can see this adjust is down below and that is my filter. If I wanna unapply it, you can see I can go like this and now it's not applied to that clip. But if I drag it over, now it's applied to these clips, it looks dark, it looks great. So now that we have the adjustment layer, let's add that text that I talked about at the beginning. So I'm gonna click the back arrow here and I'm gonna go over to the left and I'm gonna click text, okay? I'm gonna go add text. 
And let's just say something, let's just go test for now. I usually do all caps for my videos and then I'll go to font and I'll choose one called, it's called Prada right here. And you can see it looks pretty great up top there. Let's go to style. I'm going to scroll up here and make this like 10%. So it's right in the middle. And then if you notice when you move text around in CapCut, it will snap to grid, which is nice. So now we're in the middle, I'm just gonna make the size back to around 10%. Okay, cool, so now that is looking pretty good. I'm gonna click the check here. I usually leave it at um, white color. You can choose whatever color you want. And then I'll just drag this text so that it fits on the entire video. So now we have an aesthetic edit going on. I'm gonna click play, you can see. And that is looking pretty good, honestly, compared to what it was before when it had no filter. So once you're happy with that, you can go up top here, make sure you drag this over to 4K and then you can click export. So that is pretty much it for this aesthetic filter on and text in the CapCut app tutorial. If you guys like that video and you wanna learn more, I do have a 100% free Discord community. If you click the first link in the description down below, you can join the Discord community, it's 100% free. You can send in your edits in there. We do edit critiques, you can ask questions. I'm in there, a few other experts are in there to answer any of your questions about video editing. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you click that Discord link in the description down below and join us in there. So that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I try to post new videos about editing, filming, just tutorials and just lifestyle videos every single month on this channel. So if that kind of thing interests you, again, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.